Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Starfleet Command Orion Pirates Plus Mod. And it seems like we've finally hit that big old dreadnought point. In the last episode we quickly batted out a final mission to get ourselves a heavy dreadnought, USS Jackson. And uh, it's about time, ain't it? We'll finally be able to start doing heavy siege missions, maybe not on our own. Uh, while dreadnoughts are awesome, Unsupported, they can be a little bit weak, so we're going to start probably looking out to get some escorts for us pretty soon, build up that prestige, and really start causing a lot more damage. But, there is a war to be won, and we got more ground, what we got to take. So let's get to it. We're not really the convoy escort type ship anymore, so we're going to go on a standard patrol. A war patrol in the USS Jackson. The question is, is it the Daniel Jackson or the Andrew Jackson? That's the real question. Just going to see what kind of speed we can maintain powering this thing up. As a dreadnought, it takes 1.5 points of power for every movement we want to move. I'm seeing a pair of heavy cruisers. We are supported by... An HDW, a Heavy War Destroyer Escort, and an NDC, the USS Washington. I'm going to guess it's a new drone cruiser. Let's get a quick look over that. That was pretty cool. But, more important things. These two heavy cruisers. This looks like a Marak heavy cruiser according to the portrait, but I can see that it's not. Three heavy cruisers, so we are definitely the big stick here. So let's pump up that forward shield, and we'll get a scatter pack in the oven. Get that cooking up for us. Look at that. Full white shields. Oh, makes you feel powerful. Makes you feel dangerous. Gotta remember, don't get cocky. He's got some drone launchers, nothing too dangerous. We'll uh, see if we can't blast our way through him move on to take on one of these guys. The last time we tried to do this on our own didn't end so well. But we're a little bit bigger. And a little bit nastier. So we're committing to this side of the fight. Are you gonna come right up? We actually are. Look at that. Took off three quarters of his health just with one over. One overfly. Target the next dangerous thing. We'll slow down a bit, give some more power over to our defenses, because, oh my god! Okay, so, that's what happens when Plasma gets involved. So, big nasty dreadnought, three Plasma torpedoes ripped open our shield on us, and now we're definitely limping. They're gone. So that, uh, that cuts down on the fight, but he's definitely the big danger we got to worry about. Scatter pack's ready. Let's get one of these out of here. And he's got plasma D's. Slow down a little bit. Oh, so much plasma D fire. And he cloaked. So he's one of those guys. Which means he left his buddy all on his own. What a mistake. Oh, nope, he decloaked. He is, of course, the most dangerous thing to us right now, so he will get all of the firepower we can bring to bear. There we go. Much more roll and brawl style that we got going here. Not the fastest. Definitely some of the most dangerous. Drops that shield. We're reinforcing the front. Yes, we are. Not a lot of power put into it. We did take some power damage. Those plasmas really opened us up. Luckily, the normal Klingon forces are not going to have that. So, I'm calling foul. These guys are able to do. He's got a wild weasel in there, doesn't he? Yep. I got a cry foul as to where these guys' shuttle hatches is. The enemy. Not something we want to do very much because it takes us forever to turn. 
The 66% chance for a high energy turn. So uh, we are not reversing course quickly. Should be ready soon. We'll turn these off because I don't anticipate us getting anything through his plasma key fire unless it, you know, shuts down. But then again, there's no point anymore, is there? Because he's a burning wreck. Can I get some marines over in time? No, he's still got eight. Shattered. So I think that kind of proves that we do need escorts. Um, on our own, if we run into big concentrations of heavy cruisers, we're not going to have a good day. And we got to limp back a little bit. It's a normal patrol that we'll be going on. 76 points of damage. Not great. Let's, uh, let's get ourselves some bigger... Maybe not that big. <laughs> wow! It's going to cost us 180 to keep ourselves full-on reloads. Uh, we don't need anything else special. Get back into this fight. We'll maintain a speed of about 15. We've got the permit. Hello. We sold, sold you recently. And the Richards. Again with the Richards. It's back. Back when it was a, uh, a frigate leader under the command of the Argus. Everyone remember that? Oh, it's been a while. It's a pretty sweet looking ship. Really looks dangerous. Buff that forward shield. That's an Orion Battlecruiser. OBC. Did not take much effort at all to pump us up the white shields all around. But we're all about that frontal armament, yo. I'm not seeing anybody else, which is, you know, a good sign. A little more power. 16 points of speed. Look at that slow acceleration. We thought it was slow before. No, we're crawling now. And up here. So we can get an idea of who we're fighting. Desperately are going to need escorts soon, though. Escorts will probably cost us around 15 to 2,000. And he's another big plasma boat. That's not good. So we're going to go here. Prep a wild weasel. Slow down just a bit. We don't want him to get in range of us before we've got this thing ready. We already saw what that kind of plasma armament can do. It's only two Fs this time, and a defensive plasma, so this is not so effective. Shut those off real quick. And missiles aren't going to be so effective here, because of the that plasma D. Uh, but those two plasma Fs could hurt quite a bit. And let's see what kind of range we're dealing with. When are you going to shoot, boy? Oh, he's turning. Are you going to dump on the Richards? No, nope, you are going to shoot at us. We're going to start shooting something bad. Lost one of our shields. We're still in good shape, though. Uh, that plasma soaked up all of our phasers, and we've got 14 phaser ones on this thing. So, that's one of the things about the point defense. We may shut that off. And <laughs> now the Wild Weasel's ready. Oh, boy. Don't want the missiles, because no point. Watch what this Fight D does to the... ...does to the permit. Oh, it's shocked. Any cloaks. Really? You're gonna cloak on me? Well, I have a big ship. Power to spare. And a lot of equipment. So what we're going to do is the traditional flash cube. Charged up our tractor beam. It's all ready to roll. We're going to drop one of these right on top of him. Within tractor range, of course. He will reveal himself. We will tractor beam him and fire all our photon torpedoes. It's going to be glorious.
Got him. So now everybody can see him. So we can launch missiles at him. Unless, of course, you know what they run into the mine. So as long as we hold on to them, they've got full firing solutions on them. Normally we use an escort to do this, but you know, our escorts, well, they're not ours. They're loans. Here we are, putting all that power to the front. Let's see if he's building up a repel beam or not. And he decloaked. Now if we hold it, he also can't launch wild weasels. So he's in a lot of trouble here. Can't capture him, he's just got too many people, and I think pirate ships just blow up anyway. Not gonna waste the drones, we're gonna save it. And he's broken free. So give us some power. Oh, well, torpedoes are almost ready, so we'll cut power a bit. So we can do that. Frontal shield didn't even care that a ship just blew up two inches from us. It's like, whatever. We're a dreadnought. Now, if only we could stop running into these Orions with their plasma torpedoes. <laughs> They're the most dangerous thing on the block. <laughs> and pressing into Klingon space. Another patrol. Klingons proper. Deep Space Patrol, so he'll be somewhere out here in a little bit. Systems online. Let's start converting to scatter pack. We're unsupported in this, so it's just a dreadnought. No useful little escorts that we kind of need. Doing good on our missiles. Initial 22 reloads. There's one. Light cruiser. Not to jinx it, but did we come all this way to fight a light cruiser? Power into that. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything. Uh, if you press the Y key, it uh, cycles through enemies. If you press T, it cycles through everybody. And yeah, I'm not seeing anybody. So probe away. Ooh, that looks cool. And in range. This um this will not go well for him. Scatter pack shuttle ready. So I prepped the uh, scatter pack because, you know, was worried. What happens if, like, we run into dreadnoughts or something? Turns out that was a waste of time. We're going to see if we've got a good... Ah, fighters. Cute. We're going to see if we've got overrun potential on this guy. Shield's not buffed up so much because we're turbocharging our photon torpedoes. That'll bring us six overloaded photon torpedoes, each one doing 16 damage. So a nice bit of crunch damage in there. So I'm going to guess he's some kind of escort, because our escorts have two little groups of fighters, too. And... Oh, I'm sorry, did you have fighters? One alpha strike. That's it. That's the whole show, po folks. That's why we wanted the Dreadnought. Light cruiser just couldn't handle it. Couldn't handle our awesome firepower. Makes you cocky, makes you want to try and take this planet, and ooh, did we? The Klingon Empire is cut in half, folks. That is phenomenal. That is beyond phenomenal. So the Klingons are in trouble. We just brought in the real big heavy guns and they're having a lot of problems now. Right 
I see nothing on scanners, but it's another deep space patrol, so we're going to start kind of at a distance from the enemy. And who do we got to play with? Comfortably maintains a speed of 16. Gets a little bit squirrely when you try and do it right on, spending 61 power. Another light cruiser. And if I may be so bold, it is the same type of light cruiser as we saw before. So. Reinforce, we're going to go for the overload again. Not going to bother prepping the scatter pack. Because you know what's the point. And we'll launch it. Figure out what we got coming for us. If it's another escort, then just going to roll over him again. In range. Oh, he's got white forward shields. That's impressive. He can take quite a beating. Oh, ooh, okay. Um, this is an X type ship. So if you look here on these phaser racks, these are phaser type X's. Uh, we have reached, ladies and gentlemen, the advanced age. And things are about to get scary. You're going to start seeing light cruisers who can take on dreadnoughts. It's not to this one, I don't think. Uh, this seems to be a fairly early version of the X ships. But, um, wow. Things are about to get interesting on the front. It's sort of like Germany at this point, where they're suddenly coming out with all this crazy technology, but it's the end of the war. He's maintaining a speed of 20. Zipping along. Those are x -rays. Wow, look at that anti-missile defense. He's got four of the darn things. Yeah, we took a big chunk out of him. He's at 11. Still controlled by 11 people. Speed's dropping further. I think he's in trouble. I really think he's in trouble. So, gonna focus on killing him. Phasers are up. Is there another phaser up? Look at that. That is just... That's impressive. That'll come around. Starting with that phaser. Okay, so... Getting closer. And as you can see, Dreadnoughts. Just Dreadnoughts, man. If he were a later period X ship, he might be able to give me a run for my money. Maybe not so much because he's Klingon and Disruptors are Disruptors and nothing better. But an X series Romulan ship could definitely scare me. So, two light cruisers, just no, no chance whatsoever. They, uh,. She shouldn't even have bothered waking up that day. We're going to try and link the territory. Surprise reversed. I'll accept that. It's these guys again. Frigate, 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 frigate. Nothing but frigates. I'm gonna guess he's not the strongest frigate. Probably him. We will prep the scatter pack now. Because we're gonna do a fast run by. Putting all that power towards engines. <laughs> we don't even accelerate up to our speed of 16 before, before our phaser capacitor is charged. We are definitely not a light dreadnought, that's for sure. And we did see light dreadnoughts earlier. So.
So, gotta get in here, gotta cause some damage, gotta fly on. Those missiles out there. We'll see if he's got any sort of anti-missile defense system. Hopefully not. Hopefully they will all just hit him and kill him. But you know, we're at that point of the war where everybody's got him because everybody needs him. Reinforce that front shield because we are going to launch at close range. Five, four, three. You're dead. He's dead. I'm gonna guess that you're gonna die too. Yeah, he's dead. So again, made a mistake, propping the scatter pack. It just seems like they can't handle me. Damage past their shields. Well, you survived. Partly because we didn't fire until we were so we were still pretty far away. I would say he's offline. We'll see what happens, you know, when you beam all Marines over. Transporters aren't ready. That's gotta be intimidating. Just looking outside your window and seeing this monster. You almost got this. Come on, boys. Come on, a little bit more. A little bit more and they'll capture the bridge. And I'll know if it's okay if I can capture the other one. Everybody's dead. They're about to take the bridge. Bridge taken. Yeah, we can give them. Okay. And that's that. Speed of time, so we don't have to wait for it. Two new frigates added to our war effort. You know, for however much that's worth. Standard orbit. Yes, that's right. We're going to standard orbit this guy. Ship is out. Thank you. There we go. Two frigates captured. Uh, our Marine complement is getting pretty light, though, so going to have to head home, pick up more Marines for that. No bonus prestige for that. Okay, so we won't bother with that again. 1705 prestige. Do we want to try and take the planet? Do we? I think we do. I think we do want to try and take a planet. I also think those are two dreadnoughts. Those are three dreadnoughts. Okay. <laughs> it's a shipyard assault. Uh, we're going to play this one safe. We're not going to get involved in that. Instead, head out to a normal patrol. We really shouldn't be too greedy. I mean, we did. We do now have a dreadnought, and that's a pretty big. It's a pretty big thing for us. CCR, USS Stephens, Stevens, depending on how you want to pronounce it. And yeah, that's a standard Constitution class. 
It's not one of the, uh, it's a Constitution refit, not one of the Galactic Survey Cruisers. You don't see the big dishes on either side of the, either side of the saucer section. He's equipped, oh, uh, yeah, pretty normally. Okay, so this is a heavy cruiser, R-type refit. So, he's got the two rear-firing Phase 3s. There's the enemy. Yeah, CCR. Command Cruiser Reef R-Type. And you're a light cruiser. So, uh, everybody else remember what we did to the last couple of light cruisers we ran into? That's the plan! Run them right over, nobody will know the difference. Let's see what he's got. Ooh! An expanding sphere generator, two defensive plasmas, so these are worthless to us. I have a pretty crap uh, armament, frankly. We're gonna run you over, friend. You're not gonna like it. It's gonna be a big old bully. Sma smash right into him and keep on going. Uh, the expanding sphere generator will generate a bubble around him that does lots of damage. So, we'll set these up on hard point two so we can switch to them real quick if we need to. And he's got a couple of fighters, how cute. You came into the wrong neighborhood and you brought the wrong plasmas. Yeah, between those plasma Ds and the expanding sphere generator, there would be no point to even attempt it. There he goes! He's gone. <laughs> wow. That's that's definitely something. And we'll keep moving back up here. Back to a shipyard. Shipyard or shipyard, what do you have? NCF New fast cruiser, no. We want escorts or another dreadnought. SCSX. So this is a space control ship. This is like the super carriers of the day. 20 fighters. So that's a lot of fighters. That's five squadrons of fighters. And look at that bad boy. It's an X type refit, so it's got the phaser X's, which are phaser ones that you can overload for additional firepower. Uh, four missile launchers. That's cool. Unfortunately, we went down the Dreadnought tree. But we will start seeing things like this. The FFX. An advanced technology frigate equipped with those phaser type X's. Oh, we're definitely into a brand new era of fun. The best part about the X series is all of the, uh, the heavy cruisers and battle cruisers that will come out of it that are just monstrously powerful. Let's see, we have HDWSR, Heavy Exploration War Destroyer, no, we want an Escort, this is Escort, yeah, an Escort Cruiser, Phaser Gs and a couple of Phaser ones, I would like something a little bit stronger than that, CX, Advanced Technology Command Cruiser, uh, yeah, lots, 12 Phaser X arrays, that's nearly as heavy a Phaser armament as we've got. Uh, that's a little bit outside of our price range, just a bit. HCWE one. I like this. This is this is good. Three photon torpedoes, three drone launchers, uh, four phaser ones, two phaser threes. And yeah, that could that could serve us well. Is there anything sort of slightly outside of our price range? Uh, that's a new fast cruiser. A BSX. So we're going to go on this mission. We'll accept the shipyard defense. That should give us some cash, and we'll we'll really make a final decision on what we want to buy. So speeding up a bit. Light cruiser, heavy cruiser, light cruiser, heavy cruiser. Okay, uh, son, you came to the wrong neighborhood. Supported by... 
Okay, supported by nothing. Scatter pack prep. So, we have no friendlies on this mission. A little worrying, not gonna lie. That's a battle cruiser. Remember what destroyed the ESS Patton? He's one of those. So, prepping a scatter pack, power up the forward shields. We're gonna try and kill you in one overrun and then immediately turn to your battle cruiser friend. Oh, is it A ADW. Is that another one of those um those drone cruisers? Cause if it is, oh, then we have nothing to fear but fear itself. If it's a heavy drone cruiser, um, then yeah, we can we can bully him no problem. Hopefully it'll be that. But I do think ADW was it. Okay, um, no scatter packs for us then, apparently, because he's another one of those X-type light cruisers. Could not help myself. He's coming in, speed 30. Speed 21, he's at maximum range. Starbase adding, or the shipyards adding their firepower to the mix. Come on, phasers come online before I cross into his front. No, that's not gonna happen. Okay, on to you. What are you? We're about to find out. Wow, he is... He is something else. Wow. It's a pretty heavy phaser armament right there. Turn this away a bit. You probably will... That was a foolish thing to do, sir. Smashing a whole bunch of the systems. This fight's over. Our six photon torpedoes are all ready to go again. Oh, he's an X ship again. See, we're starting to see a lot of these X ships. of these execute ships now. Very dangerous. Potentially. Uh, unfortunately we don't have any weapons quite like the X phasers for our dreadnought. We do not have a DNX. Uh, not that we really need one, frankly, for what we're fighting. He's taking some pretty monstrous hits though. All of this missile fire. <laughs> We're out of missiles. We've got, what, one left? Yeah. Hello, have you heard? No, he's still at six, and we've only got four marines left. Five tractors, or five transporters, but only four marines. Go, marines. Kill. Capture the ship. Don't shoot him. I'm captured him. Who the fuck? I'd be relying on his... his point defense system to hold out for all this. Fly around you in circles. Please stop shooting him. I want to capture him. Yeah, your your puny armaments mean nothing to me. Okay, all the marines are dead. We can now capture. There we go. 
Bridge taken. All enemy ships destroyed. The power of the Dreadnought. So now we'll do a serious look through. See what we actually want to buy. See if there's anything available to buy. And we're going to have a lot of money to do that with. 2,500. Shipyard, what say you? Uh, shipyard says we'll sell you a battle station. <laughs> uh, CFR, fast cruiser refits. FFV Plus. This is a escort carrier. That might not be a bad idea. If we give them fighters, now nah, the, the fighters won't. Fast cruiser. Oh, that's a lot of Phaser 1s, or Phaser Xs. That's probably a good choice, frankly. Do you have a DDX? Oh, try not heavy X. This is what we would be if we had X Phasers. It's pretty impressive. DERR, Destroyer Escort. Nah. FFER. It's a escort R type refit. LMQR, that's a Q ship, I think. DWX, it's a destroyer X type. Um, sorry, figuring this out can be a pretty big deal for what we'll be capable of doing in the future. Um, we want. So a destroyer escort down here, or DWX. Advanced Technology War Destroyer. Oh, 29 power. That should resolve most of his problems. We're going to buy him. He will come with us now. Welcome, USS Richards. We now own you. And now we're going to go patch up a couple of... Pieces of loose paint. And spend lavishly. That's repaired. Six shuttles. A whole new complement of Marines. This is vitally important to what we're doing. Couple of spare parts. Done for that. USS Richards missiles. You will have the medium Type 4s. Full sets of reloads. So once again, we are back with the USS Richards. Our nice little squadron here growing. We'll pick up another destroyer or something to fill that out. So, this is where we'll end it today. Another great operation. Another great amount of pressure. Oh, the Klingons regain connections again, but we'll get in there and we'll cause some more havoc. Uh, we're getting prepped to take this planet here, and yeah, that'll be it for today. Uh, if you like what we're doing here, hit that like button and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.